Well, hello, friends, and welcome to our happy place. This uh, YouTube channel, it's all about things positive, things encouraging, things to uplift you, and all based on the Word of God. And so I would like to invite you to our community. And it comes out every Monday, which we term these episodes, Motivational Monday. So come on in. Well, hello, friends, and welcome back to our happy place. I'm so glad that you joined me for another edition of Motivational Monday. I know, I know, it's been a while. <laughs> I was talking to one of my subscribers this week, and she was like, I miss the word. I miss my motivational. When are you coming back? And it pricked me. It made me feel like, oh gosh, I can't let this go. Um, but there is a reason why I have been absent. I have become a grandmother. My daughter had my first grandson, uh, Artem Lee. I will try to see if I can stick a picture right here. Uh, he is the love of my life. Oh my gosh. He came at the right time. It's everybody spoke of mother's love. There is no love like a mother's love besides God. But that grandmother's love, it hits a whole lot different. I mean, whoo, he he pulls on all the heartstrings. Oh my goodness. I just I'm in love. I'm in love. I mean, I'm so in love with this little boy that I bought a brag book, which is a picture book. And every time I get a, get to see him or his mom send me pictures, I hurry up, download them, and send them to Walgreens. And I stick them in this picture book. So whenever I'm around people, oh, look, 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 come see my grandbaby, you know. Because this newfound love, this glammy life, nobody can tell me nothing. When I'm having a bad day, all I got to do is see his little smile and I'm, I'm, I'm like putty. He not spoiled. He's not. I am. Uh, it was so funny because yesterday his mom asked me if I could babysit so she can go grocery shopping. And I'm like, girl, don't you threaten me with a good time. Y'all go and stay as long as you like. Y'all go down each aisle. Uh, go eat. Go do whatever you want. We could, because I get to snuggle with him. And so I thought about that, you know, how this newfound life is just is so glamorous. And how I, every chance I get, I'm talking about him, I'm showing pictures of him. And I thought about um, my walk with the Lord. And it, mm, Mary, it made me think, how often am I? talking to others about Jesus? How often am I bragging about him? How often am I being a light, showing him off? You know, um, because I know I do it with Artie. And, um, and I don't want to be guilty of putting Jesus on the back burner. He belongs right front and center. The head of my life, but not only the head of my life, but the lover of my soul. And God knows I love Artie. Oh, I love Artie. But I have to love Jesus more than I love Artie. And if it ever gets to the place where I'm putting Artie before Jesus, I messed up. I messed up. And so... When one of the subscribers told me that she missed hearing the Motivational Mondays, it pricked my heart. Because although I am very excited with this new role being a Glammy, I am through the roof excited. I still have to make sure that I'm still putting the things of God first. And that's to grow his kingdom, to uh, be a witness of his great works to be a light into this dark world. And it may be just for one person, 
But you know what? The Bible says the angels in heaven rejoice over one soul who repents. One soul. So if this YouTube channel is for one soul, then I've done my part. Or I'm doing my part. Because I never want anything or anyone to get in the way of my walk with the Lord and me uh, showing the love of God and letting people know there is a hope. It may seem like your situation is hopeless, but there is hope. There is a Savior. His name is Jesus. He loves, he loves you right where you are. He's waiting for you to come on home or come, you know, welcome home if you left, whatever. He's waiting on you because he loves you that much. And so my encouragement today is don't put Jesus on the back burner. Put him right in center. Israel um, Houghton sung this song, um, Jesus at the center. It's one of my favorites. Let him be in the center of everything because that's where he belongs. And you know he's a gentleman because not once did he like, oh, Mary, you put me. No, no, he's a gentleman. He just, just with a sweet touch. Hey, I want to talk to you too. I want you to brag about me as well. I want the, that love that you give to Artie as well. And you know what? He deserves it. Because before Artie was, he was and he is. And so I just want to encourage you all to keep Jesus at the center. Love him with every fiber of your being. Talk about him. Brag about him. Testify of all his great and wondrous works. Because he's worthy of all that. He is. I mean, we're just blessed. We're in at Grace Tabernacle. We have a, a brand new building that we're worshiping God in. And today was our first service in there. And it was wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, God is doing wonderful things at Grace. And I'm so glad to be a part of the Church of the Living God. I'm so glad to be part of a church that preaches and teaches the unadulterated Word of God. I'm so proud and excited to have a man of God that's not afraid to preach his word, even though the, the way of the world right now is seem to be like, let's just make everybody comfortable. Well, Jesus didn't come to make us comfortable. His walk on this earth, him down on that cross, that wasn't comfortable. That was not comfortable because I don't know if in your book having nails in your hands and your feet is comfortable to you because it's definitely not to me any little ouch a pinch a, ah, you know so he didn't call us to be comfortable that's that's not what he called us for but to show this world love to show each other love and to be um his hands and feet on this earth so let's brag about and how God has brought us out and how he's taking care of us, how he's, uh, he's always there. He's always there. So with that being said, I will be back <laughs> uh, next Monday for another Motivational Monday because I don't want to be guilty of someone looking for that motivation, uh, that just a little <clears throat> to make it through another week when if that's what they're dependent on I want to do my part that it may seem small but maybe in the eyes of another person it's like no I needed that and I want to make sure that um, God uses my voice uses this platform for his glory it's not about the numbers at all but it's about reaching reaching his children and letting them know that there is still hope in him. He still loves us and he's very much lonely to be with us, to just sit down and have a conversation. He, he wants that. And by the grace of God, I'm going to be back. Um, I may move it 
to another day. I'm not sure yet. Monday seems to be the best day because it's the beginning of the work week. Uh, let's go ahead and make it through. Um, I should be back on regular schedule now because we have a break uh, coming up for the Christmas holiday. And so with that being said, I'll see you all next week for another Motivational Monday. I wish you all a blessed week, a safe week, a prosperous week, and go and show the love of Jesus. Bye, guys.